Hey guys, so I'm on to share another dream that I had a while ago. Um, I know it's kind of a lot because I just uploaded another dream called The Refining Dream. If you've not heard it yet, go listen to it. Of course, as always, pray for discernment uh, before or during while you're listening to uh, my videos or anyone's videos. Ask for the Lord's wisdom and understanding. Um, and for the Lord himself, Jesus Christ, his Holy Spirit, to guide you with everything that you're listening to. So this dream, this other dream that I had, um, so symbolic. Please pay close attention because every little detail in this dream is symbolic. So I named it the Job Corps and Wave Dream, and you'll understand uh, why in just a moment. <clears throat> so I'm reading this out my journal. I had this dream the night of January 5th going into the morning of January 6th of this year, 2024. So here we go. Sorry, I'm watching my baby play. He's being so cute. You're being so cute, Zaven. Okay. From what I can remember, I was in Job Corps and had my own room. I remember everything in my room being white. There was a scene change and I was in the auditorium. I was in a seat talking to some people on and off. I saw a Hispanic woman and thought, she's pretty, I'd like to be her friend. I began talking as if in Spanish to somebody else, and she came up talking to me in Spanish, but I responded with Miss Guzzi in Italian, and she realized we didn't speak the same language. Then I saw her go up on stage. She began singing, and me and the audience all joined in. Now, I remember I wasn't singing, um, cause I didn't know the words, but I was just kind of like, everyone, everyone was jamming out really. Except then I heard her singing about fallen angels and I quickly stopped. I was so surprised by such evil. Then there was another scene change. I knew something was coming and the school was preparing as if it was a celebration. They asked for the balloons to be released. I opened a really large plastic bag full of tons of really huge balloons. When they came out, they rolled out partially deflated and none of them rose up. I was very upset. Um, I was like, you know, what kind of balloons do you people have? Like your balloons don't even float. Then I knew it was time for me to go. I think I wanted to leave my blanket and pillow and other stuff behind to help people, but it was made known to me that I couldn't do that. As I was walking through the parking lot to leave, the Hispanic woman walked up with me. I mentioned how I loved Jesus, and she just got quiet and blank, almost as if she was inwardly disgusted. And so I carried on ahead to leave. I saw a family member who's Catholic and a pastor who, uh, who is at a lukewarm church that me and my husband used to go to. Um... I had also, me and my husband had both been shown, and and I was told in my spirit, but we've also been shown and confirmed this, uh, when I was told that the Catholic Church has him. And what I believe that meant is the spirit, the spirit that is behind the Catholic religion um, has infiltrated many of the churches. <clears throat> so anyway... With them was a little girl named Lily, and I think another child from, uh, from my family. As we were leaving, I looked out the window and saw a massive wave forming. It grew bigger and bigger very fast. I looked up and saw about four tall buildings, and the wave was growing far, 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 far over them. I mean, it was horrifying how huge this wave was something that was just so shocking um, to see with, uh, with, the, with the eye. Then I saw the wave stopped in its huge place as if it was waiting on God's word to slam down over the city. We all got out of the minivan that we were in. Me and the girls were about to run up the road to the apartment. I kept telling the family member and the pastor uh, that was with us to come, but they were running back to the van. So the, the Catholic family member and this pastor who, um, I was told and me and my husband were confirmed in dreams, the Catholic uh, church has him, meaning that that spirit. 
So these two run back to the, are running back to the van. I even tried pulling on the family member with violent urgency, but she shoved me off. I then grabbed the girl's attention and went back to the apartment. When we got there, I opened one door to an empty room and one door to a room with toys in it. I chose the one with toys as I was thinking it had helped distract them from their fear. Bad idea. We could see the huge wave out of every window in the apartment. In the toy room, I began praying and repenting with a fear of God and wanting to be in right standing with him. After I began to share about God, uh, the times we were in, and I wanted to share about the beginning, uh, the beginning of the world, like Adam and Eve and all that stuff. I saw the kids were getting bored. So I was trying to share these things with the children. And I saw they were getting bored and they were starting to complain. I grabbed a Bible uh, that was in the apartment. And I tried looking for parts in the beginning that I wanted to teach them. But the Bible uh, that was in that apartment, it looked like a magazine with designs and less words on the inside. I was very upset trying to find the truth that I was looking for. Um, I couldn't find what I was looking for. Then the family member and pastor came in. I asked them where they were and they said they wanted to help people. So they were handing out clothes, water, and gave money to a local toy store. Then the family member uh, that was in the dream went and laid on a recliner, uh, reclining lazy boy chair. I went up to the pastor and told him how I wanted to teach the kids about something in the Bible, but I couldn't find it. So I asked him for help and he looked at me as if, I, as if he was annoyed with me. And that was the end of that. So, hold on. There's a whole lot of scripture that I came across that I wanted to share, but I also wanted to, I also wanted to share the meaning of a lot of the things that I did come to find. I'm going to kind of work my way backwards just because it helps me to do it back. It's kind of hard for me to start from the beginning. Um, so I'm going to work backwards on this. Uh, so the part with the Bible that was in the dream. Um, I believe this represents the word being corrupted and the truth being twisted. And so I'm trying to find the truth in this, in this Bible that um, was in this apartment from these Catholic people. And I couldn't find it. When I asked for help, uh, they were just kind of um, just snotty and snarky to me. You know what I mean? And so, and that was very upsetting so there's an issue with that. Um, okay, I'm, I'm just going to keep going. I don't want to get distracted. So the family member and the pastor that went to go help and they were, what was it that they were doing? They were, oh, they were handing out clothes, water, and giving money to a local toy store. So I believe there's a lot of symbolism in that as well. But what I believe was going on was this was works. And when I say works, I don't mean works of the Holy Spirit, but I mean works of the flesh. So that was their focus on um, when they ran off to go do that. And clearly that was not, you know, the right thing to do at that time. And, you know, they came back. The family member went straight into a lazy boy recliner chair and uh, the pastor was just being so just snotty. So this was clearly not fruits of the Holy Spirit at all. Um, all right. The children that were complaining that they were bored and they didn't want to hear uh, anything I had to share about the Lord. I believe this has to do with a lot of... Um, a lot of people in the body of Christ, a lot of children of God who are just getting into a slow, kind of lazy place where they don't want to hear the truth. They want to be comforted and they want to be entertained. And that is something that can easily happen to 
any human being in the world. So this is why we need to remain steadfast in the faith and rely on Christ. And if we feel like there might be any areas where we're not being obedient or uh, where we're really struggling or feeling quote unquote bored in the faith, uh, we need to seek the Lord about that and ask him for guidance um, and seek his truth in scripture, seek him in prayer diligently. So, whoops, my battery's dying. Oh, Lord Jesus, please help me get through this before the phone dies. Okay, I'll try and speed this up as best I can. I might not get around to all the interpretations I was given with everything in the whole dream, but I'm kind of, I'm going to try to get to as much as I possibly can. So the Hispanic woman and the whole thing where, uh, we realized that we spoke a different language. It, I, it's not about the language. It's not the fact that she was speaking Spanish and I was speaking Italian. I don't even know Italian. I actually know far more Spanish than I do Italian and I'm very rusty on my Spanish, but, um, I think it's the symbolism of it all. We spoke a different language. Um, she was clearly singing about fallen angels. I wanted to worship God. That's what, you know, I was looking forward to, but that's not what they were doing uh, in the auditorium. And when I found that out, I was upset. Going into the parking lot and on my way to leave and she walked up next to me and I'm talking about how I love Jesus and she's just kind of disgusted inside. That just shows um, the contrast between loving Christ and following him and, and those who are not, those who are in deception, those who are in, you know, witchcraft. I mean, you name it. So <clears throat> I'm going to share a bunch of scripture. Unfortunately, I don't have time to read everything out right now because my phone is dying. But this is so important. And please look into these scriptures, okay? Um, I'll try to put them in the description box too. But 2 Timothy chapter 4, 3 through 4. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. Jeremiah chapter 12, verses 10 through 11. Revelation chapter 3, verses 15 through 16. Revelation chapter 7, verse 1. John chapter 3, verse 3 and 8. Matthew chapter 24, verse 18. Isaiah chapter 29, 11 through 13. Uh, Matthew chapter 7, verses 21 through 23. So these are all scriptures um, that have a lot to do with the dream that I had. So I'll write them in the description box too if you didn't get all of that. But there's a lot of detail in this dream. It's a very important dream. Um, and that's all. Pray to the Lord for interpretation, discernment, wisdom, understanding. Very important. Okay, guys? God bless you. Have a blessed day.